Hi guys, my name is Caitlin. I am from grassfedgirl.com. I'm a holistic nutrition consultant and I've been working on healing my body with a whole foods carnivore, paleo, keto diet for the past 10 years. Most recently, I have been doing carnivore for several years since October, 2018. And in September, 2020, I had a baby. And so I've been working on losing my baby weight and it has just been a journey. And so if you're interested in these kinds of topics, stay with me. Today, we're gonna to be talking about things that I did to break my stall and keep losing the baby weight. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So we're gonna have fun. Stay with me till the end to hear all three things that I did. You are a new mom or a mom long time ago. Tell me how you lost your baby weight down in the comments. I'd love to hear. And please subscribe to my channel and share this video with a friend. Leave a thumbs up. It really helps YouTube algorithm so more people know about carnivore as a healing diet and we can help more people get healthy, not um, go on medications and all that kind of stuff. So please share this wonderful in information so we can get the word out there. Okay, so the first thing I did was get support. So number one was support. I enlisted some people to come along with me to try to get a little more strict with my carnivore diet and tighten it up. And I enlisted, you know, anyone, it was completely free in a chat on Instagram. So people wanted to join my chat support uh, to tighten up their carnivore diet. They could join with me and that was very motivating. Also, um, my sister and I, we both do carnivore, so we bet each other $50 that whoever uh, cheated would have to pay the other one $50. So that was very motivating. I did not want to pay my sister $50. And uh, so we decided to do that. And so that and the chat thing, which is a private little, just a message thread, on Instagram helped me a lot to stay accountable. And on the chat, I would share my meals and um, you know get motivation from the other people. They would share their meals and you know things that were helping them. So that was really helpful. Very important to make sure you have that support system in place, uh, whether it's Facebook groups, um, you know, accountability by doing your own Instagram uh, feed, or you can. Um, you know, have a friend that you do it with offline. So there's a lot of ways to have support around a carnivore diet, but don't, don't try to do it alone. Don't white knuckle it and um, get, the, get that support, chit chat with people uh, online, offline, whatever is best for your uh, schedule and lifestyle. Okay, so number two is sweeteners. Now I had let myself have some sweeteners after having the baby, I had, uh, used an electrolyte drink that had sweeteners. And I think it was very helpful for my breastfeeding journey. I've been breastfeeding since the baby was born. I had great success. He's now 20 pounds. He's six months old. Um, I don't regret any part of doing the electrolytes. I think that that can be a real hindrance for people who are trying to breastfeed and they don't have enough electrolytes and they don't know why they're having trouble with supply and all that stuff. I had amazing, abundant, crazy supply. I have a video about my carnivore breastfeeding, um, but yeah, I have let myself have the Relight, which has sweeteners, it has stevia, and which I think is one of the better sweeteners, but um, I don't know if it was, just, it was just spurring my craving. So now I've switched to the Relight that has no sweeteners, and that's really helped me. I think it just, you know, having that sweet taste made me wanna have more sweet taste, and. You know, it was just kind of a downward spiral and I was also drinking some, you know, sweetened ketogenic friendly drinks, but you know, maybe I was putting some stevia in my iced tea or something like that. Um, and it was just getting, you know, it's making me have more cravings. So I think that tightening up with the sweeteners, no sweeteners whatsoever, I think it just helped my uh, appetite to be more regulated, maybe my blood sugar to be more regulated and um, if you watched my last video, my ketones have been off the chart since I've been doing this, which normally I had trouble achieving high ketone readings. So uh, I think that that's 
also a part of not having the sweeteners. It's just another way to regulate your blood sugar. And the more you can do to do that, it just affects everything, your mood and your energy and your appetite. So your sleep even. So the more you can regulate your blood sugar into a tight, narrow range, the better you're going to feel overall. So the sweeteners, um, it was sad to say goodbye, but I think I can find other ways to get my electrolytes without the sweeteners. So um, it wasn't too hard. And you know, once you quit it for a few days, you forget about it and you don't need it anymore. So it just takes a few days to get get over the hump with that. This is the electrolyte drink that I've been using now. It is unflavored, so you can see. Um, you can get it, <clears throat> you can save on this with my code down in the description box. So before I was using the flavored ones, now I'm using the unflavored. And I just you eat about two or three scoops of this a day in my water or I make little capsules of it. And it's just great because it has uh, sea salt from the underground caves in Utah. And it's really clean product and has a lot of good minerals. So um, I love this stuff. And just get the unflavored one if you don't want the sweetener. Get down below with my code in the description box. Grassfed girl. Use my code grassfed girl. Thanks so much. Okay, so you're wondering what the number one thing I did to lose weight was. It was quit dairy. So I quit all dairy um, except for butter and ghee. So I did allow butter and ghee, um, but I quit all the goat cheese that I was eating. That was a big thing, especially after I had my baby. I was just wanting that soft goat cheese. I was kind of using it as a dessert. So after every meal, I would eat like four ounces of goat cheese and um, or I would mix it in my eggs or something like that. And it was a crutch for me because I really wanted desserts and things like that, but I was just eating the soft goat cheese instead. And I had thought that I was, I thought that I was um, tolerating that. And I guess I was, it wasn't causing me any big reactions, but I was holding on to weight from it. So once I quit that goat cheese and, um, I started just allowing only butter or ghee and not no other cheese, no um, cow dairy. I know from experimentation that I don't do well with cow dairy, even raw cow dairy. It doesn't matter really what kind. I've tried every kind of, of dairy and none of it works for me. Um, even the cow or the goat or the sheep, it's all just makes my appetite really rev up and I gain weight. So. Um, I thought I could tolerate the, the goat dairy, but it's so far, as soon as I cut it out, I started losing weight. So over the month, I lost uh, six, maybe eight pounds, and I just feel like I've, I've lost some of the bloating that I had, some of that, you know, post-baby look, that puffiness and stuff has gone down, um, that my stomach is pulling in a little bit. It's not as pokey outy from the you know, the placenta and everything gets all stretched out. So um, everything is kind of tightening up and pulling in. So I'm really excited that that's happening. I'm, I mean, I don't regret anything that I did. A very rough birth. My pregnancy was pretty easy actually, but my birth was rough because I had a C-section and it was just a big recovery period. So I don't regret anything that I did that I, you know, I ate the goat cheese. I ate the relight. I don't care. I'm, I did what I needed to do at the time. But, you know, as I continue to heal and feel better, I, you know, I'm just slowly adding back things that I, as I want to, you know, some exercise, not much, but a little bit. And um, so I just feel like that is what I'm doing it at my own pace, healing at my own pace. And, you know, part of that is I want to get back in the weight that I was before, preg before I was pregnant, which I was in really good shape then. And so... You know, I'm just, I'm not beating myself up. I'm not going crazy or anything, but, and I'm definitely not restricting my portions, um, but, you know, cutting out the cheese in, in all forms has really helped. So it seems to be that the butter or the ghee is not really bothering me. I may go so far as to cut that out later, but right now, um, the reason I kept the butter and ghee is just because it's hard to find healthy fats on carnivore, especially if you're eating with, other people or you're eating out, um, butter is always there for you. And so, uh, I just don't want to say no to 
it's who butter and then I have no healthy fat and then I'm stuck with like a lean chicken breast at a restaurant or something like that or I'm on a picnic and there's nothing that I can eat so it's just as kind of a way to function in normal life is to keep that butter in there and I always eat like Kerrygold butter really good butter but um, that is a great way to get your healthy fats so um, that's why I left the butter in there and um, yeah, maybe later on I will do another version of this. But so far it was the dairy-free February that really helped me. So with the support, with cutting the dairy, and also the electrolytes, adding the electrolytes, but using no sweeteners. So no sweeteners, getting support, and cutting that dairy has helped me so much. And I'm hopefully gonna keep on losing weight and I continue on this plan because it seems very sustainable for me. And if you wanna know what I eat, I, that my last video was about my fridge tour and the one before that was what I eat and how I eat every day. So go back and watch those and I will make more videos about what I eat. And the next one, tell me if that's what you wanna hear about. And thanks so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below, share with a friend, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Um, make sure you get my carnivore ebook. I'll put a picture right here. If you're thinking about getting started on the carnivore diet, I break it all down for you. Um, I, in my book, I really discourage dairy. So um, I tell you how to uh, cut it out and cut out sweeteners and how to get support so that you will be able to make this a sustainable lifestyle. So thanks so much. You can get my carnivore ebook at www30 carnivore30.info www.carnivore30.info and I'll put that right here. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.